<laughs> so today we will be we will learn contractions. First of all, what are contractions? From the word, contraction is gotten from the word contract. Contract simply means to make something smaller. Now let's assume we bought a balloon, and a balloon is to be blown. I mean, blowing air into your balloon, just as we do here. Clearly, the balloon has grown in size. It is now larger in size. Let us let air out of this balloon and see what happens. What we've simply done is contraction. The, the balloon, the size has become smaller. So, that is the idea of contraction. Contraction simply means making something smaller in size. Contraction is a shorter way of writing or saying two words. So contraction simply means the shorter form of words put together. For example, we have words like this. I will. I plus will. In this case, if we have to contract this word or to make this word smaller, the form will change. It becomes I apostrophe L L. Meaning in this case, we no longer need the U and we no longer need I. And apostrophe has taken the place of the omitted words. Sorry, the omitted letters I need to say. Now let's have other examples. Something like this. The plus have. This will become this. Apostrophe V E. H is no longer needed. A, sorry, A is no longer needed. And an apostrophe takes their place. Now, please everybody tell me what letters will be omitted from these words. We are. What letters do you think will be omitted from this word? A. A. A and R. A and R. Yes, because okay. you have been knocking out two since. Yes, you've been omitting two letters. Sorry. Two okay. letters. Now, just to correct that, we'll be omitting our A while the we stays intact. We'll be using our R and E. So, this will be replaced by an apostrophe. Now, we will like that? Why? We. Your apostrophe comes here because A was supposed to be here. Well, Mr. Marco, yes, please. Why did you omit two letters there and you came to this one and just one? You know, in, in English, there are rules for all of this. So, what is the rule? The rule is that in this case, whenever you, I'll come down to that here. Okay. I'll, I'll give you some simple rules to use as guidelines whenever you're working with contractions. They'll serve as guidelines. Now, we also have irregular words when we're dealing with contractions. Those words defy all rules. We'll get to that at the end of the lesson. But for now, to also go further to make us get a clear understanding of what contraction is, we'll use this as an example. Now, we have something like this. Please, can you read out the word here? He had. He had. Now, if this word is to be contracted, please, Take a, take a good look at the length. Can you, you can observe the length of the whole letters together. Yes. Now, let us contract this. We have something like this. Where some letters have been omitted, true or false. Yes. Now, when you, when, you, when you have something like this, and you leave it like this, no contraction has been formed. No new word has been formed. So this is, this will sound more like head. Which, I don't 
think there's any word such as this. Okay, that is that emphasizes the importance of your apostrophe. Now, in this case, in place of the omitted word letters, we have an apostrophe, and this has formed a new word, the contracted form of ihad. What do we have here? This will read out as what? Heed. He. Okay, let me have another example here to help us get this whole concept more clear. Okay, now we have this. She will. She will. We'll see. This in its contracted form will form something that looks like this. In the word shell. Shell. So without your apostrophe, you're going off point. So this, for, for your omitted letters, will have an apostrophe. Did you also notice the reduction in length? From this to this. That is what contraction is all about. Is that clear? Okay. Now for the last example here we have should not. This will form this. This will form this. Shouldn't. In this case, we've omitted the O. Just one of the letters. And not unlike this, where we omitted the letter in front. In this case, we omitted the letter in the middle of the second word, not. Shall not. So, just a second. In getting to understand this, we have to understand that from the look of things here, all of the contractions are taking place in the second words and not the first. In the second words and not the first. Now let's move to our irregular words. Where that defy rule? In this case, should, should not, shall, plus not, shall not, will, plus not, will, will it? What? Sorry, let, let, let me go through it again. Should plus not shouldn't. Will plus not willing. Won't. Won't. Will plus not willing. I wish you Does it sound okay? No. Does it sound okay? No. No. That's an example of an irregular word. Irregular word. We all agree that even if we have should plus not and it sounds shouldn't. Do plus not and it sounds don't. Will plus not cannot be willings. It sounds odd. Two of us. It sounds odd. So, in this case, the right, the correct word that is formed is wounds. That's one of the major examples of the here that I would when contracting. Now, move over to this place. We'll be having some simple guidelines or simple rules that will help us understand how to make use or how to make new to make contractions. Now, I call these my simple contraction rules or contraction guide. If this word is to follow, when it has I am, our contraction will be on the second word, which is what am. In, the, any, in this case, this is how it will look like. Uh, the apostrophe will take the place of this letter, which will be omitted. So, for instance, a word like I am will give us what? I am. In this case, this is what we have when this is contracted and it's in the world. A word like we, words like we are, two words, we end up having we. Our first word is repeated ahead, then we have word. We are word. We are word. Remember, when this contraction is removed, we find another verb. Word. Which is totally different from what we're doing here. So that emphasizes the importance of contraction. In this case, is and has, we end up having 
this as its contraction. Now, it is will give us it. It has or he has we have it. When contracted, is and has gives us something similar. That's why they are grouped together here. Now, for had and will, we have something like this. When contracted, she had, we have she, we will meet in this, and it becomes she. In this case, we will take this first word. We are omitting all of this, replacing it with an apostrophe, and we end up having we. Are we together? For half, when contracted, we have this. And it becomes. In a word like uh, words like I have, I have a pen or what service sentence to do. The intent making, you end up having something like this. Hi. So this, the contracted form looks like this. Now, we have, give me an example of what you can use. Can not. Good. Can not. Contract this, we have this word can comes. We have press. I think this should be counts. And then for will, I will, this becomes. Wow. So that's it for lessons for today. Thank you. This is the contraction rhyme. I say contractions all the time. Take two words and make them one. Contractions can be lots of fun. It's not that hard. I'll show you how. Let's learn about contractions now. When I say I am, you say I'm. I am. I am. When I say it is, you say it's, it is, it is. When I say you are, you say you're, you are, you are. This is the contraction rhyme. I say contractions all the time. Take two words and make them one. Contractions can be lots of fun. It's not that hard, I'll show you how. Let's learn about contractions now. When I say I will, you say I'll, I will, I will. When I say do not, you say don't, do not, do not. When I say they are, you say they're. They are. They are. It's time to take a little rest. We put our brains to the test. So let's all have a little fun. It's time to dance, everyone. This is the contraction rhyme. I say contractions all the time. Take two words and make them one. Contractions can be lots of fun. It's not that hard, I'll show you how. Let's learn about contractions now. When I say cannot, you say can. Cannot, cannot. When I say you have, you say you. You have, you have. When I say we are, you say we're. We are, we are. We all know contractions now. It's time for you to take a bow. Contraction song written by darling second grade students at Heritage Elementary back in the day. You take two separate words, you take some letters out, you put the apostrophe in and you squish it all about. The word's called a contraction and you made a brand new word, that's what it's all about.